Well, there was a, a, a chance for a collaboration between Canal Plus and, and Swedish Television. So they were looking for something to develop to, to work together. So it started as a collaboration idea. And then they had a, you know, uh, an idea of how to do it, but really couldn't really nail it down. So and then they called us and say, hello, do you have anything in mind? And we said, no, we don't, but let us think for a while and, and hopefully something will happen. And it, it did. Yeah. One of the things that made us maybe hesitant to not uh, do this was because we did create the bridge and we felt that we didn't want to repeat ourselves. Mm. And there were so many things that were similar. But then after a while when we got into the characters and the, and the themes and the story, we realized that this, yes, on a very superficial level, we are similar because there's two nationalities and there's crimes, of course. But there's, it was so different uh, that we felt secure that, that we wouldn't repeat ourselves. So, uh, and that made us uh, te take a deep plunge into the story. And the thing is that uh, I think a lot of research uh, made us possible to, to tell the story because we're talking about a lot of the indigenous people of Sweden, the Sami. That's where a lot of the, 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 the murders takes place and so on. And we didn't know that much. I mean, most Swedes don't know about them and especially European doesn't even know that they exist. So that took a lot of lot of research but also for the for Kahina who pl uh, is played by Leila Bekti is um, she's um, you know a young French Algerian woman with a Berber background we didn't know much about that either so that was also something we had to research and because you can't tell a story like this unless you're you know you know your shit you know because otherwise the people will see through you and you will be lying so we spent a lot of time on on, on the research yeah but there's also the the there wasn't that any thought of dif difference because, as Mon says, the Swedes in general don't know much about uh, the Sami and that world. So explaining to a French person or to a Swede was kind of the same thing. So it didn't really matter. The, the, the you know, the we didn't have to have a special stance to be able to explain to to the French compared to the Swedes. And there's a French man being found killed in a kind of gruesome way. Kind of. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in the north uh, of Kirna, which is a small mining town uh, in the wilderness. And he's French. Uh, so a French cop is uh, taken there, that's Leila. And she discovers that this is, uh, uh, she starts working with a, Swen a Swedish prosecutor. And she realizes that this murder is just a tip of an iceberg. It's a conspiracy that runs through a decade. And it deals with the Sami. And there's a kill list of 22 people, and they're getting killed one by one. So they need to k find the killer. So that's th that's a plot. And then uh, there's all these uh, social themes uh, that li runs through it as well. Uh, but the plot is the murder mystery. Ninety percent of it was shot above the polar circle in in a small mining town called Kirna, and and the areas around there, and. It was not um, so much different uh, locations that created the uh, weather situation or whatever. You know, the weather changes so much there on the same spot. You know, it's raining, sunning, snow in the middle of the summer, suddenly. So, so it's it's uh, that's keeping that continuity in keeping the illusion. Uh, it's also you know takes place six days during uh, uh, around midsummer in Sweden, uh, where it's uh, you know late June but shot under four and a half months. So, you know, you shoot in October where it can be full snow if, you, if you're unlucky. So we were lucky. So we were able to, you know, create the illusion that it's the six days that it takes place. But yeah, but also one of the things that's challenging is that we're shooting in, uh, in an area w with no roads. There are no roads up there. So, and there's a lot of equipment when you shoot uh, stuff like this. Yeah. So that was hard. Uh, it was um, much blood. Was yeah, you, you see a spot on, on you know, uh, somebody says, you find an image on the internet. Oh, this is great. Yeah, and, uh, yeah it's great. And it's, you know, two hours with helicopter that way, kind of, you know. So it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a challenge. And, you know, just transport people and, and equipment is tough. We have to be smart, of course, and come up with the, the s smart solutions. But... Uh, uh, we mainly had two bases, one in Kirina and one even further up north where in the, the wilderness. wilderness was. And, and so you always had an air uh, base camp, yeah. 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 And it was so nice because we, we built uh, like a, a house there up in the wilderness and uh, people came by because they had these, um, I don't know what you call it in English, paths where people walk, you know, long, long... Uh, hiking, hikes, hi hiking hikes. Tra trails. Hiking trails, yeah, that's mm. what. Um, 
and people came and then walked past and they saw us and then saw that house I've been hiking here my whole life and it looked very old and you know torn so they're like I said I've always been there and then Sophia who plays our Noid our, our, uh, she can't also comes out like I've been here when did this I've never seen this house you know she, so she also you're like wow because it looks so very realistic and, and but put in this wilderness so it, it really blended in It all began when we were kids, when we were eight to nine. That's when we started to know each other. So we started making our like films when we were like 14 or 13, 13, 14 years old. Uh, so the, the film, the love of film uh, and the moving medium has always been there. And uh, I think we started working to professionally together the 15 years ago. Uh, and we do it like, um, when we direct, we do it every second day. So that means that uh, Bjorn directs one day and I'm just best friend. Uh, helping him, you know, coming with advices or talking to the producer or production designer about the coming day. And then the next day we shift. So I'm the director of the day and he's just uh, this best buddy. And um, yeah, that's how I do it. That's why it works. I mean, the, the whole uh, concept would never work. We're quite different as people and the way we direct, but we why it works it because we have the same taste in you know in performances in, in visual looks and everything so that's why it works and that's the main thing that's why we did the bridge that's why we did this thing we think we just want to tell stories that unite people because we're all the same and uh, we're we are we are different in mostly superficial things the, the way we like our breakfast the way we like drive our cars or something like that but in the in the in the in the most important themes, love, uh, hate, uh, all those things, the timeless things, the classic, the, the stuff that classics are made of, that that's where we try. I'm not saying that we're doing it because that's for you to say if we do it. But we try to aim there, to aim for the timeless story because the timeless stories are international. But we like to do them in, where we control the world, which is Scandinavia, because we know that world. So we. So it's the, the idea of making something very local, but telling timeless ideas and timeless stories, and then, then it turns international, uh, hopefully. Yeah. yeah, the similarities between people is something we really try to bring out, because the world as it is right now is turning yeah. darker and darker, I think. And, and uh, so even though it's a murder mystery and everything, we just wanted to, this, this is the, the, one of the main reasons why we really did this, because we wanted to say, well, they might be different than in this case the Sami who were in Sweden before the Swedes and the Swedes there is a conflict there but nobody knows about that conflict but we used it as a microcosmos and what, ha what happens if you if you tear a little hole and somebody kind of throws the first rock you know how uh, positions slowly starts to slide and s things racial slurs or whatever that wasn't okay to say just a week ago suddenly becomes okay and I think you can see that in the US now, and you see it in Europe, and... Uh, Brexit. Yeah, the, 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 the people distancing, you know, being uh, protective about their territory, about, you know, and, and the whole, uh, you know. So what we wanted to do is, like, hopefully, we'll just do a show that is about that. You don't get it in your face, but you get it, like, a secondary. And we, we're not saying that we can change people's mind, but we can raise an awareness of this situation, and hopefully say, well, we're not that different after all. <laughs>